All right, guys. So as you guys can see, everything is in. I also have a change of clothes because this is Sunday now and had some issues with the car. Well, my stupidity. Um, there's a little plug that goes on the back of the uh, of the block right above the oil filter. I forgot to plug it. I didn't have one, so I did my events that I had on Saturday. And today I drove all the way to uh, my buddy's shop. Um, some of you guys know him as uh, Goldie's owner, um, Angel. And I, uh, he had one. So I drove all the way to his shop, which is about 45 to an hour away. Came back, got everything put back in. Um, I was having some issues with the oil pan leaking every time that I would uh, put oil in it. Um, that happened twice. So hopefully now that is fixed. Um, I just went through and got a little bit uh, a quick drying um, Honda Bond um, or uh, Permatex a gasket maker, which says a minute, you're in, out, done. So that is ready. And now the moment of truth. Does the car have oil pressure? Um, hopefully the camera kind of can catch this here. Um, but here we go guys let's see if I got oil pressure so let's see oil pressure come on give it a second come on we've got oil pressure going up it's going up and we are good now let's check for leaking um oh this is a pain to get out of um let's check for leaking and see if it's leaking down here hopefully not um and yes it's f leaking great okay I'm done with this car Alright guys, so I'm back. Um, let me give you guys a really quick rundown of all the crap that happened um, within the last couple of weeks. So, uh, first, I forgot to plug the coolant line uh, that goes into on the, the back of the block. Um, that's right above the oil filter. Got one. Go to start the car. Oil pan is leaking or I thought come to find out I forgot to put on the rear main seal that was my my mistake um, I completely forgot about it so I had to take the trans off um, thankfully uh, Justin and Dustin over at Hub City Performance stopped by and helped me put the trans back in because I was not gonna be able to put that trans back in that thing is extremely heavy for me um, and you know I'm not muscly armed or whatever the hell so yeah so i couldn't do that so they helped me they put it they literally came by and said you know let's knock this out they put it back in for me um so during the process prior to you know figuring out that the rear main seal was out dustin came over and helped me kind of take a look at the car and see if it was going to be ready so we went ahead and, and primed the motor went to start it it was extremely lean so I pulled the injectors, sent it out to fuel injector development. Um, they were amazing. Uh, they went through, cleaned them, everything else. So the injectors are now flowing at 2000, uh, I think 2000 PSI. Yeah, 2000 cc's, sorry, 2000 cc's. So those are good. Um, put those in. Also, my driver's side axle boot ripped. Um, during the process of me pulling it out, putting that thing, pulling it out, put it back in. I got that fixed, got a new boot on there. Hopefully that's good. Now, um, it's the actual moment of truth. Um, I'm going to try to start the car. Uh, but before I do that, I do have to plug up the battery. So let me do that real quick and then I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, so this might be a little overkill, but I'm going to go ahead and prime the engine one more time. 
um, make sure that there's oil going through it. So let's make sure that that is good. Let's take a look at that. All right, we've got oil pressure. So now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug up the injectors and take a look at everything. Nothing is leaking, thank God. After all my trials and tribulations of trying to get this car running. So plug up these injectors real quick. Um, this vlog is gonna be really, really just more of exciting, hopefully, um, than anything. So let me get in the car and I'm extremely nervous. Uh, let me see. I'm extremely, extremely nervous right now. Uh, let's get in the car. Um, I have the AM connected. Um, let's see. running a little rich at that 12s so it's at 12s right now um am should adjust it um am is adjusting it it's going back down to about 13 13 7 um it's a little i think it's a little rich am seems to be adjusting very well um but it is a cold start first time the car's ever started um and it's it's running guys it is running. Woo! All right. Uh, it is it is adjusting as much as it can. Um, the air fuels and everything. So we will let it kind of just kind of just rev up for a little bit. Kind of even itself out. Um, but we have a running car, guys. Woo! Oh my God! After so much. So much time, so many issues. The car is running. I'm like nervous right now. I'm like, I'm like nervous as all hell right now. Um, let me just give you some gas here. Um, I have some overflowing coolant. So let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. All right, let some of that kind of move through. A little bit of smoke out the back, um, but that's usual. Um, it's been a while since it's been started, so let me just let it run for a little bit, let it get up to temps, and then uh, we should be good. But it is, it is a little, it's, it's good. It's about 14, 13 uh, air fuel ratio, which is good. Um, kind of get it up to that, that temperature that it needs to be. But, oh my God, you guys have no idea how excited I am right now. This car is running. Um, I, oh, a little bolt fell out, and let me try to get the start car started back up again. But it is it is uh, flushing through coolant, so that's a good thing. Um, let's get her back started again, and let's see what happens. down there just burning off I guess but it is smoking a little bit but it has been a while so alright guys let me keep this going um, I'll keep you guys updated uh, I'm gonna keep going through this make sure the car idles really good and everything is good so um, I'm gonna check a couple things but we're golden guys Woo!
Hi guys, so um, that's pretty much it. Car's clean finally. Um, I'm gonna take it out for a quick spin. It's a little humid out, so we'll see how it does outside. Um, it should be fine now that the cooling temps are a lot better. But i um, really excited to get this car back together. Um, it has been a nightmare and a headache trying to get all the little details figured out and a lot of stuff that I forgot um, because, well, I'm no race car builder, I'm no car detailer, I'm, I'm not, I'm just a regular guy on YouTube trying to have some fun with this car and I've been learning along the way, watching a lot of YouTube videos um, on my own um, and of friends of mine and things like that to figure out what needs done and of course the backing of uh, the amazing knowledge over at Hub City Performance um, and a bunch of friends online. Um, I can mention a few, Vasily Garage, Gringo Tuning, the guys at, at Nice Ones, Ty Boogie, uh, the Honda Resource. Big shout out to all of those people involved um, in the backgrounds, back behind the scenes to get this car back together to where it's at today. Um, big shout out to Similar Support System, Hub City Performance, um, uh, H-Day, K-Tune, um, the, the whole engine bay is pretty much downstar for the most part. Fuel injector development, um, they came in clutch with cleaning the injectors. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching my latest video on YouTube. Finally got the car back together, everything is running. Um, there's a lot of videos to come. Um, I took the car to a drift event. I didn't drift the car, but um, I just drove it there. So we'll get some footage of that coming up in the next videos. and. Shortly, I do have a huge, huge surprise for everyone. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. And uh, thank you guys very much. I'm out.